Do you ever get this sense of loneliness, kind of this hold in your soul that you want to overcome? Well, I think one really great way of doing that is to work on your sense of belonging. So there might be some group, some organization in which you are participating. And the more that you develop a sense of belonging there, the more it's going to help you to overcome that sense of loneliness. I see this a lot in different church organizations that there might be people that are coming and they're active and they're present, but they don't really feel that they belong. And so there's a sense of loneliness, a sense of not quite fitting in that causes a lot of pain and a lot of tension and doesn't allow them to get everything out of what they're participating in. And that's why I think it's something that's so important. So instead of loneliness, sense of belonging. Now, the sense of belonging brings us some great things. It brings us motivation. It brings us better health and it brings us happiness. Why? Because when we feel like we belong, well, then we're taking a lot better advantage of everything that's happening, right? And, and we are participating, we're truly participating. We're making ourselves a part of what's going on. And that's something that I think is tremendously important. And one of the best solutions to a feeling of loneliness or purposelessness that so many people feel so often because it's not always easy to fit in or we might be you know, doing crazy things in order to fit in. But really what we need is to grow in our sense of belonging. And that helps make sure that what we're doing really is helping us. Another thing that I think is, that we get from a sense of belonging that moves us away from that, that sense of loneliness is to see value in our life and to cope with powerful painful emotions, right? Because when we feel that we're part of something greater than ourselves, that, we, that there's people that truly care about us, well, then that gives us some of the capability of coping with difficult situations, which is something that all of us face. You, you know, you can even just go through the Bible and see people facing difficult situations, starting with Christ, agony in the garden, probably, you know, the, the worst thing that's ever happened to anybody. You know, his whole, the whole story of the passion. But I think it's especially present to us through that scene in the Garden of Gethsemane where we see him suffering tremendously. But at the same time, what saves him, what rescues him in that moment, well, that knowledge of being part of the Trinity, being, you know, one with the Father. You know, it's the temptation there to think of himself as fully, you know, separated and, and he has to deal with that temptation and deal with that sensation. But at the same time, there's a confidence and a courage that comes from knowing that he's connected with the Father. And, you know, so how do we go about gaining this sense of belonging, whatever, whatever group we're participating in? Well, one thing, is, you know, and I think a lot of people find difficulties with this because a lot of times we, we come and we're judging people and we're just looking at how we're different and how they look differently at things. And, you know, maybe we focus on politics or other things where there's, there's more, uh, more room for divergence and we focus on the differences. But that's not good. What we really want to do if we want to grow in our sense of belonging is focus on the similarities. And this is something that personally I'm fascinated with and, and something that I think is important for us as Catholics because... There are a lot of different, you know, there's a lot of difference of opinions. Now, obviously, there's an orthodox interpretation of, of the, the teaching, but at the same time, you know, even holding on to that, and, and personally, I really try to be orthodox, to be, you know, in line with what the church teaches. But at the same time, I feel that other Catholics who might be, you know, in other places and who might have different opinions, I do want to be building bridges. And so it, it helps me a lot in that sense of belonging, you know, belonging as a Catholic, um, to look for the similarities. And even when there might be people where, where, you know, evidently there's a great divergence of opinions, even on something that's very important, trying to look at all of the different things where we do share a common faith and a common background, because that helps to build up. And my hope is that by doing that, I'm able to give witness and to be bringing people closer to the truth and to myself as well, be walking towards the truth because no one of us is the complete owner, you know, and the exclusive owner of the truth. We all have things to learn. 
we all have areas where we need to develop. And so, you know, that, that sense of loneliness, which I think can invade in, any one of us and, and really, you know, make us feel terrible sometimes, um, if we want to combat that, well, we, when we go to this sense of belonging and, and see where is it that I belong and how can I make sure that I'm doing that, remembering the why.